Also here at noontime, the suspect in a decades-old cold case appeared in court for the first time on a murder charge. This Salem man has avoided arrest since the gruesome killing of a mother inside her Bedford home back in 1971. But today he's spending his first full day behind bars for that crime. WBZ's Nick Giovanni was at today's arraignment. 76-year-old Arthur Massey stood before a judge inside Middlesex County Superior Court Wednesday morning to face charges for a murder committed more than half a century ago. Mr. Massey, how do you plead to this indictment? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Massey was arrested at his Salem home yesterday, indicted by a grand jury on the charge of first-degree murder for the death of Natalie Shublin, the wife of a bank president who was found by her husband back on June 10, 1971, bound and stabbed multiple times in the basement of their Bedford home. She had been bound at the ankles. She was face down. She had been stabbed in both the left and right side of her chest, and the back of her head had suffered a terrible blow. Prosecutors say police who responded to the scene realized Shublin's vehicle was missing from the home, and they found it less than half a mile away, where they'd find a key clue. It appeared that that vehicle had been wiped down for fingerprints. Police who responded to the scene were still able to recover latent prints from that vehicle. But for several decades, they were unable to match those prints. Decades later, new FBI technology identified Massey as the source of a fingerprint found on Shublin's stolen car, according to prosecutors, who say when interviewed by investigators, Massey at one point blamed his cousin for the murder. He claimed in his interview in 2005 that he had uh, subsequently learned from his cousin that his cousin had in fact carried out the murder and uh, gave police uh, close detail of how this had allegedly uh, come to pass. Far from exculpating him, uh, this confirmed, in fact, that the print was his. Massey was held without bail, without prejudice, due back in court April 28th. Reporting in Woburn, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.